In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to download and install Visual Studio Community Edition. First, we're going to start out by going to visualstudio.microsoft.com. We're going to look for the free Visual Studio button to push on. Here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for Community Edition. This is going to be our integrated development environment, primarily used for .NET development as well as a few other aspects of programming like Python, C++, Unity, um, and there's some also data analysis tools built in. So we're going to choose free download. This will download the installer, the setup exe. Downloads pretty quickly as this is just going to give us our options of what we'd like to install. And then during the installation process, Microsoft's tool will download all of the files necessary while it's doing the install. It's going to tell us that we need to choose some setup options, review the privacy statement and the software license terms, and we click continue. This will get the installer ready. Once the installer is ready, it's going to present us with options of what to install or what we would like to install. Okay, now you can see the options that are available to us. Um, most of you will probably be doing ASP.NET and web development. Some of you may want to do Python. You'll potentially want to have the Azure development tools. Node.js is extremely popular and very useful for most of us doing web development nowadays as well as other types of development. We'll want to choose that option. If we scroll down, there's options for doing desktop development. If you're interested in that, uh, Windows development, there's Unity game development, there's mobile development options, and there's some also some data science and analytical tools available to us that you may select or may choose to select for data storage and processing. If you're going to work with databases such as SQL Server or Data Lakes or Hadoop, you may choose those options. I'm going to bring those in, the additional tool sets. Also on the right hand side, there's an ability to choose some additional options there, um, basically the ones that we're looking at for the most part. There's extension development if you want to do some Visual Studio extension development as well. That comes in handy sometimes. Um, GitHub Copilot, I'm choosing that because Copilot is a great new capability to an, allow us to have AI help us while we're developing. I'll demonstrate that in a future tutorial, but I'm going to add it here now. Once we're set with our options, we're going to choose install while downloading or download all then install. It's up to you which method you prefer. I'm going to go with install while downloading and you're going to see the total space required is 10 point, almost 10.2 gigabytes. Okay. So again, checking your file sizes um, and locations on your computer. Default's going to go to your C drive. If your C drive is not that big and you have an alternative drive, click change and you can choose that other drive. So click install when you're ready. Now this is going to download the files and while downloading, as I noted, it's going to do the installation. My installer is just about finishing up. You'll note that depending upon your download speeds, the options that you chose and how fast your computer's processing and memory is, the install time is going to vary significantly. For me, this took about 15 minutes in total from the time that I started the installer and to the point where we're at now where it's just about to finish up. Once it's finished up, we should see Visual Studio launch since I have it set for a start after installation. Now we can always go back and use the installer again in the future should we want to change any of our options. So just kind of keep that in mind. You can keep it or you can actually re-download it um, as well as some other options. So we should be expecting this to finish up here shortly. Now that the installer has finished, it did some cleanup tasks and you see that 
it's launching Visual Studio for the very first time. You'll see the installer behind the scenes went to modify. So if we wanted to change the installation that available, that option is available to us now from the installer. Once Visual Studio is set up and installed, you'll see that you can sign in or create an account. We're going to skip this for now. You're going to choose your development settings. You'll see there's different options. Most folks like to work with dark mode these days. Um, there's also default settings built in for web development, if you're interested. Uh, for those of you who are doing .NET development, web development, not code only, you're probably going to want to choose the web development option. Dark's good, and then start Visual Studio. It will personalize it based upon your settings, and again, that's going to take a few minutes. Your Visual Studio is now fully installed and ready to use. You're ready to go forward and create a new project if that's what you're looking to do, or create um, code from a repository. You can download from a Git repository or DevOps, um, as well as open up a project or solution you may have locally on your computer, or just open up a local folder. This concludes the download and install portion of Visual Studio. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Please look forward to additional videos on how to configure Visual Studio and to work with the IDD. Um, please pass this on if you found this helpful. Thanks.